Got the Ray Jake wings installed. They don't show you that on TV, do they? Got to pinch some pennies somewhere. Well, this is ridiculous. Whoa! (gasps) No way is this working. Also, a warm tip. (laughs) Said all of our walls are made of foam. (laughs) Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Retro Revivals. As we get swarmed by bugs out here, we're still going to be working on Harvey the RV, our 1976 Dodge Cruise Air. In this video, we're going to head inside, hopefully tackle a bunch of little projects, a couple big projects that'll make a big difference in the overall feel. We're pushing toward the finish line, hopefully. But before we get to that, we'll show you a little bit of what we were up to last night. You might notice a little refresh if you've been following along with the channel. So um, take a look. You gave her the old spritz. Well, I already said take a look. Oh, okay. Well, then you can cut out that part. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Jack. We had overheating problems with the RV initially, okay? So we took out the radiator, we replaced that. Now, what we're gonna do is something we should have done to begin with, replace the radiator fan clutch, okay? We got a new one of those, but in order to do that this time, we had to pull the radiator out again. Got a little smarter, took off the bracketry, and we've got that out of the way. While we're in here, I've got a couple hoses I wanna replace. Transmission oil cooler lines, they sit out here. I've got the power steering high pressure hose, and I've also got the return line. We're gonna replace that. And then we can start putting it all back together. So we've had this thermocell in our camper over here for a while, never tried it. Just fired it up, so we'll see if it makes a difference. Totally not sponsored, just very curious. Also, in a half hour it'll be dark, so that'll be our work light. Yeah, we are underneath some walnut trees that have begun bombing us. So we're gonna see who gets, ooh, you knocked one out. We're gonna see who gets hit with the first walnut in the head. That'll be pleasant. But there's a whole bunch of stuff in here behind the bumper. Anything that looks like it's cruddy, rusty junk, just suck it up, okay? Can you do that for me? Awesome. That stuff cool? Yes. It's like nail polish remover rubbing alcohol. Ooh, I wonder if it's gonna take the nail polish off your nails. Ooh. I hope. You hope it does? I did it really weird. Oh. <laughs> so I got the high pressure line, the old one off of the gearbox, and it goes into the back side of the pump here. So I'm gonna put this new one on. Um, I just got it off of Rock Auto. It's a specific high pressure line because it's got the crimped fittings and it's pressure rated up to however many PSI. I don't know, but anyway. Where'd you get it? Rock Auto. And Auto is Auto backwards. And then this one goes up here, like so. The one thing you want to do when you're running a high pressure anything is to make sure it rubs on whatever component it can. That way it immediately burns a hole right into it and you lose whatever fluid you're trying to keep in. It's a good idea. I feel like that's not true. Oh, was that sarcasm? Sarcasm? Yes. So the steering box sits right behind this. You can tell that they've cut this out and mangled it before and then they bent it over. I'm just going to go ahead and lock that little bent piece over and kind of straighten this metal real quick. All right. Spray it black. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. By popular demand, we have gone ahead and replaced the fan clutch. 
I've got everything apart. This is the very last thing that needs to go back on there. Um, we've done the thermostat, we've done the radiator hoses, we've done the water pump, we put in an aluminum radiator. We've got it all done. We got all back apart so we could do this fan clutch. No, no big deal. Um, it's ready to go back together one last time, and we are going to run down the road as cool as a cucumber. Yeah, and you took all this business out, so you shouldn't have to swear when you put it all back together. <laughs> I'll swear regardless. <laughs> Fiddle faddle. We wound up probably putting it back together several times prematurely, just so it could be a completed project at the end of the video instead of just doing it all at once which is what we should have done but hey we're new to this and live and learn and who doesn't like taking the front end apart 16 times oh yeah it's good practice the one thing i will say about this fan clutch the uh the old style you had to line up your holes with your water pump and your pulley and everything the new slotted style, I'm hoping, simplifies things because I mean, it was a bear before. Well, and also you couldn't see what you were doing and you're reaching over a radiator, so. Exactly, okay, so I've got one bolt in already. That Before wow. that would have taken me a half hour. At least. <laughs> hey, don't get the paint on your fancy, is that a bear? It is. On it's a, a bear. bicycle? Is he on a bike? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. oh, bear on a bike shirt. All right, so getting it put back together. Yeah, everything's uh, coming right along. We sent the kids inside so they can make sure their homework's ready to go for tomorrow. It's getting kind of late. But anyway, we'll get most of this back together. Hopefully quite a bit of it. I do enjoy having the kids out here helping. Um, you know, like... Most kids, they have their priorities. <laughs> when I was younger, I uh, I really enjoyed working with my dad. Um, he, uh, you know, he'd have me do different things when I was younger, bleed breaks, do different things like that. Help him mechanic. Um, what I didn't understand when I was a kid was my dad <laughs> whether he enjoyed it or not um he did it more out of necessity and uh i'm glad he involved me i would always ask him questions about cars and this and that and what kind of cars he had when he was a young man and it really uh kind of sparked my interest in cars and so as i got older i started wrenching on cars and starting out i had to do it out of necessity uh, as as everybody knows, taking a car to a mechanic is very expensive. I mean, the labor is usually two to three times uh, what the part uh, cost is. So anyway, that's how I kind of got my start. Now, I uh, like I said, I really enjoyed working with my dad. Um, he taught me a lot. Um, I think I probably at some point probably surpassed what he was willing to take on. Like, I don't see my dad wanting to take on a project like Harvey, but uh, definitely my childhood and younger years led me to this point. So I thank my dad for that. I will say the advent of the internet and all this other stuff, huge bonus to guys like myself. The internet has definitely been a game for the, uh, the do-it-yourselfer like myself. Self-taught, no lessons, thank you very much. Self-taught, no lessons, thank you very much. Got a nice booty shot of you. Oh, thanks. Glad you didn't say a disgusting booty shot. <laughs> Oh, I'll have to loosen that up and adjust a little bit, I think. Is it sitting on something? Oh, uh, those wings hold it in? Yeah, the wings. The wings? Mm-hmm. Got the radiator wings installed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Quick update. Christy went in to be with the kids, and I went ahead and buttoned this back up. Everything went back together. Um, it looks good. Uh, nice black paint, nice aluminum radiator, should keep cool. 
Okay, so I've admitted to being a poor judge of how long things take before, but I'm going to run through all of what we're hoping to accomplish. Now, we only have about two hours tonight. Got to go pick Jack up from tennis. We won't get it all done tonight, but hopefully by the end of this video, we are going to have all these cabinet doors with the hardware on and have them installed. The bathroom doors right there installed. We've got a tabletop we need to put on here. Um, the shelves need to go back into here. We need the top on, pop a couple cup holders in. We need trim up in a lot of different areas and along the ceiling. We need this door back on. Um, this thing goes right here for the mattress to sit on, so we need to put that back. Um, what else? I don't know. I just walked up, but I heard you say something about being a poor judge of how long things were going to take. <laughs> Is that true? No. We got to get the AC cover back on, the vent cover back on. Um, oh, and the big one, the floor. So if you're in love with this grody primer, dirty floor, you're going to be very upset once we put the new flooring down. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be wild. There's a lot happening. Right. There's a little a lot of work to do. All right. You ready? Let's do it. Oh, man. Before we get going, well, we did have to take that piece of trim down to do the flooring. But check this out. Look at that little pop of color. I was inspired, and we had extra green paint, so I thought it looked pretty cool. When you open the cabinet doors, you'll get that little surprise. One of these days, we're going to pop the hood on the RV, and it's going to be green underneath there. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, and I want to get a fancy treatment under here. So stay tuned to see what we do with that. All right, so here's the hardware we bought. Fancy. Um, most likely it'll hit the ceiling when we open them, but that's okay. It's not sharp. It shouldn't damage things too bad. Um, so if I start putting more of these on, you want to start hanging them up? I would love to. So the thing that you need to know is I wrote the numbers of each cabinet in here and I wrote the numbers on the cabinets mm -hmm. and then I painted over said numbers. Oh. So it's going to be a crapshoot. Oh, yeah. I, I like guessing at things. <laughs> That'll be great. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Hey, those look good. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you know what I thought about? I left that <laughs> screw down there. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you for got the it? magnets. <laughs> wow. Yeah. They don't show you that on TV, do they? <laughs> Hey. Am I helpful? You're... You did not. I did not. What? It's inside out. <laughs> the first one I video. Wait, did I put the handle on the wrong side? No. How? What? No wonder it's so hard. I was Gee, okay. No, wait. <laughs> no, what? I was thinking. I was thinking when I looked at these hinges, I'm like... Oh, well, that's weird. These usually, you know, the has a little hook, so it should like latch onto the wood. <laughs> I'm like, why is this one weird? Oh, well, that explains that. I'm just glad this is the one I decided to video. Me too. Hey, hey, cabinet doors are in. Do these open now? Oh, look. Oh, it's a galley wamper. <laughs> If you ever wondered what the big mosquito looking things are called, Tyler's mom calls them galley wampers. So we got one. Or that's just an industrial mosquito. Yeah. He's taking the place of our pet spider that wandered off. Hey, look at that. I fixed that, didn't I? <laughs> bugs. Nice. There's so many bugs. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one opens, the galley wamper door. Yeah. Nice. Hey there, buddy. Yeah. So in the original Harvey, the uppers had these little, um, what are they, hydraulic No, they lifts. were not hydraulic. They were hydraulic lifts. They were loaded, yeah, lifts. So 
we put original hardware back up on these with the latches. Um, I don't know if we're going to need, what were they? Not hydraulic lifts? Uh, they were spring loaded. I no, don't they think... weren't. Pretty sure. No, I saved them. Should we get one out and we inspect? Uh, well, let me... We might have to use them actually, unless, I don't know how much they cost. Got to pinch some pennies somewhere. Is that one? Yes. Hydraulic fluid all leaked out. Yeah, because the end is off. <laughs> <laughs> not not well, hydraulic. No, I'm going to see if I can see the spring. Technically, I can. There's a spring, but I'm not going to show you. <laughs> yeah, I think right. it's a spring. That there's no hydraulic in there. <laughs> well, aren't those things shaped like that normally hydraulic -y? Yes, uh, in a modern RV or just modern anything, yeah. Okay. Oh, look at how rusty and dinged up that thing is. Yeah. Are we going to reuse those? Are we going to? Probably. Gonna... It looks, works like magic. We can... All right. That's going to be one of those projects we do like after we're done. We'll right. put the hydraulic lifts on. Dip it in green paint and put it up there. <laughs> Yep. What's that? Stink bug. I Sammy know. here. <laughs> right above my head. Dirt in my eye. Thanks if you don't have a stink bug and then drop in your eye. Uh, well, that's true. I would rather, I think, I, I don't know. Do you rather have a stink bug in your eye? <laughs> no, I would never want to have a stink bug in my eye. Oh, okay. Would you? <sighs> Probably not, I suppose. Well, this is ridiculous. You need help? Yes. <laughs> that stink bug's coming over by you now. Yeah, he is. He's giving me the old stink eye. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Remember that one year when there was like a billion Japanese beetles? Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. What happened to them? Probably a stink bug ate them all. I don't know, but he is going for the attack. He's yeah. going right above you. Now. Right. He's going to spray me like a skunk. I don't even think, I've never smelled a stink bug. <laughs> they stink when you smash them or what? Yeah. Pinch them in your fingers. No way. I don't bit. crush beetles. It creeps me out. When we were kids, we had this big light over the basketball court and all these June bugs would swarm on it. And you had to walk under there to get in the house, and it was like you had to step on June bugs. It was so gross. Oh, that little like crunching, popping. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's pretty sick. The good old days when bugs were bugs. I haven't seen too many June bugs lately. Uh, no, I haven't. Seen a whole lot either. Do you know where June bugs come from? Grubs. Yeah, look at you. Yeah. And if you're watching this and located in a part of the country or world where you don't have stink bugs, Japanese beetles, June bugs, gallywampers, mosquitoes. You're lucky. You're lucky. <laughs> However, we don't really have killer snakes. So there's a trade off. Have we ever had uh, this up before? No. Oh, good. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to give it the old. You want the cordless? Uh, yeah. All right. I think. I don't know. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You're going backwards. <laughs> well, it doesn't want to go through that. Oh, man. Let me just leave it like that. Whoa! <gasps> you did not. Why did you give me the cordless? You know, stench. It doesn't even show up on the video, but rest assured there's a hole in the screen. This is like 10 times zoom right now. <laughs> That's your punishment. <laughs> oh. Well, we need about every new screen in here. Might as well add that one to the list. Right. Some of these projects are going to have to be done when we're on the road already. Like, 
as I'm driving, you're going to just start tackling <laughs> projects. <laughs> I'm just going to be re-screening everything as you drive. No, but I mean, we, we're going to have to get mobile, get camping, and then tackle things like as we can I and am. some of this stuff. Uh, what is happening? I'm marking these so we can figure out where exactly. Think they're going in fine. What's that? Okay. okay. I love that. I got that on video. Why do you love it when I fail? <laughs> I don't. I think people need to see what it's like to really renovate something. Yeah, yeah. It's not all flowers and sausages. Life is so flowers and sausages. I think I'm going to have to uh, start holding the camera more <laughs> so we can see exactly how your projects turn out. Yeah, I'm not just a pretty face. <laughs> There's brains in this face. Oh, all right. We have some pre-drilled holes. We were actually trying to screw through a screw. We moved that screw over a little bit, and look at it go up now. Weird. Somebody set me up for failure. Nice. So here's what we have. Well, do do. Now, I said this before. But this is a regular residential light fixture. It's not made for RV. Our understanding is that you can use that if you get different bulbs. So we have LED filament bulbs, and they say 12 volt. So as long as they say 12 volt, these are 12 volt Edison amber bulbs. Ooh. We should be able to plop them in there, and they should work on the DC. So. Okay, hop two. Hot tip, when you're working with electrical, you want to make sure your power's off or you're disconnected from the battery and all that good stuff. Don't you mean a warm tip? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't make this up. Look it. They gave us a warm tip for this <laughs> job. <laughs> I think they meant hot tip, but it just doesn't translate the same. No, no. <laughs> what, are you going to do the... You're going to watch me the whole time to see how bad I screw it up? No, well, you're not going to screw it up. Sweet. I hope I don't. I can show these crazy light bulbs, though. So we debated. Like, we didn't really want the bright white. We wanted more of a warm glow. So they're actually amber. So when these suckers turn on, hopefully it's not totally yellow in here. Although that would be kind of a 70s vibe. Hmm. There's a mosquito in my eyeball. The directions also said it'll take 30 minutes to an hour, and we have about 20 minutes, so we have to go get Jack. So no dilly-dallying. <laughs> Can right. we do it? I take that as a challenge. Tell me 30 minutes. We're going to get this. I'm the one that's 10. doing it. <laughs> Wait, shouldn't I have a say in this? How long is it going to take you? 20. Okay. 10. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Also, a warm tip, <laughs> use your ground wire to uh, suspend your light. Um, <laughs> that helps. Can you take this for me? Gross. What do you mean gross? <laughs> You're crying out You're loud. You're sucking on it for 15 minutes. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you too. Okay, our wires are clear, I think. Man, these are biggies, aren't they? Uh, they're monsters. This is gonna look great. Oh, that looks nice, I like it. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's very Harvey-like. <laughs> We got to wrap things up, clean up, wrap up. All right. We'll see ya tomorrow. See ya. All right. We're back out here. We've got a couple hours of daylight left today. Um, trying to get the trim going. And the main problem right now is we have a pretty big gap over here. So we're just going to measure and cut out a piece that hopefully will perfectly fit in there, a little filler piece. So what I'm going to do is make this into the fill piece. So I'm going to hold it here. This is kind of what you do when you do floors or tile work or anything. And then one that's this height. Oop, don't write on the ceiling here. Mark along that. And 
this piece here should be the right height to be a fill strip from there. And then we'll just screw it in from the bottom and it'll be sturdy and ready to go. Perfect. Here's the little piece cut to absolute perfection, I think. Oh boy. Ish. Couldn't be any more perfect. I don't want it to pop behind there. We'll never get it out. Oh, There's like a little caulk over here messing me up. Yeah. I could. Oh, there. There it went. Oh, boy. Look at that. Oh, nice. I mean, I probably could have gone with a little longer piece. Nah. But, I mean, the trim will cover that as long as we have something to nail into. We're okay. Right. So now we have to throw these king daddies up into it. Oh, I'm out just a hair. I just need a Do you need me to get the uh, speed square or something? <laughs> oh, the hammer. Oh, oh shoot. I hear I've been using that for like <laughs> filling holes and whatnot. Dang it. <laughs> I mean, I just need the teensiest tank. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, oh, I need a hammer. What kind of hammer do you call that? This kind. <laughs> Is that a ball peen? I found this tool, but I don't know what you call that. I don't know. <laughs> Works like a charm, though. Hot! Mama. <laughs> so this is the trim we picked up at the depot. Um, this is just an inside corner trim, three-quarter inch. I don't know. It's not called inside corner trim but it works on an inside corner <laughs> I don't know it's inverted We worked late last night and we ran out of trim. So now, until we can get back to the store, we're gonna switch gears and move up front. So there's a few things that we've gotta do up here in order to get this ready for flooring. So after we get rid of our temporary storage area and clean out all of our trash, we're gonna remove our seats so we can get to this angled piece of wood here that is covering our seat belt bolts. And so we do plan to replace the seat belt, so we'll need to get under there, but also we need to figure out a gray water situation. Um, we have a couple options. The first easiest option is just to have a, t a tub or a tote of some kind under the sink here that would fill with gray water and we'd just manually dump it into the toilet or somewhere. Um, the better option that we're hoping for is to actually run some plumbing. We've got some tubing here um, that would come from the drain down and under this board and into the black tank that is in the bathroom. So um, we have to pop this up because we have no idea what's under there. A lot to explore and hopefully it's all good news as we go along. All right, at the beginning of this video, we had a piece of flooring on the kitchen counter. If you have a keen eye, you might've noticed it, but as soon as we get that stuff addressed with the seats up front, here's what we're gonna be laying down, this luxury vinyl flooring. Here's a sample piece here. So hopefully we can get that tackled pretty quickly and start laying down some floor. So what's going on out here? So I was doing some Harvey archaeology and uh, I was digging around. Um, I took three screws out of the front here and that loosened the front of the board up just a little bit. So I dug a little bit deeper. I opened up this panel here that has the speakers. Um, and the board goes underneath there. I was expecting to, expecting to see more screws, nothing there. So if I was going to keep hidden treasures in an RV, I would keep it behind this panel. Don't tell them we're gonna stash our millions. Oh, well, we, oh. this is where we stash Ooh. our mice. Man, gross. <laughs> uh. Uh. 
Oh, so here's our little oh. secret revealed. We didn't do anything with this side of the cabinet yet, but it's because we need to cut it and run pipes through it and all this stuff, and then we'll put a piece of paneling on it. So don't worry, it'll happen. Maybe, oh, maybe these are staples that are, maybe it's a staples. We thought it was the carpet staples. Maybe they're, uh, I can see one coming. They're structural staples. <laughs> I, I don't, uh, I'm not going to make pretend to know what I'm doing. What have you been doing this whole time then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a paid actor. <laughs> You're an unpaid actor. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm an unpaid actor, even better. Right. Good grief, I mean, it is definitely a structural staple at this point. <laughs> So there's only about 172 of those bad boys going down through here. Holy cannoli, look at that thing. Oh my gosh, it goes right to the transmission. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what in the world? Are you kidding me? Yeah. I've never seen such a thing. I don't do it. Working on a vintage automobile camper, if you're somebody who likes to just make a plan and stick with it, you're probably going to have a hard time. So I think we changed the plan again. What's right. the new plan? Roll with the punches. Okay, so we are not going to take the board out. What we are going to hopefully do is get our seat belts out. We're going to widen our holes a little bit um, so we can get our bolts out, get our new seat belts in. And then we are going to try to also snake our drain in the space that is directly on the, uh, the tallest portion back here of the floor. Not long ago. Oh, how many more are down there? I touched that in my finger. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Oh, that's a good one. Hmm. Oh, my gosh. I could put him back with his nest. Oh, come on. Get out of oh, here. Hell. Yeah, they, and they can all be buried together. Okay, we cut this hole to try to run the drain, which may or may not work, but there's like, I don't know, the frame rail that was full of this stuff. <clears throat> this is one of our crazier ideas. I mean, definitely you wouldn't find this in some manual, but Got a hole there. We'll run some PVC PEX type of thing out of the kitchen. Down this hole, over this way. We were just laying under the RV and hopefully found a spot we can get it into the black tank. So if it doesn't work, then don't try it. And you can just say, yeah, I learned not to do this. So yeah, sweet. Yeah, take your lessons from us or learn your lessons from us. I don't know. Are right, you ready? No, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, so we put our hole here so we could get some of this foam out of here. Ultimately, we wanted to drill a hole through the, the wood wall and get it underneath the bathroom. We didn't want to mess up the bathroom. It's on the other side. And I started hacking away at some of this foam. And let me see if you can see. Oh, man. Long story short, ah, the whole wall, it's, it's only foam. This whole side is full of foam, back, and that's it. Make so I think we can get our, I mean, we've got a little more digging to do, but. Well, by looking at my, our black tank, it's probably made out of foam too. <laughs> the, bla <laughs> the black tank probably is made out of foam. <laughs> so we have to try to snake this tube under here. And without kinking it is the key. And all this is so we don't have to tote our gray water and dump it some more manually. Or we could have it exit on that side, but then that's just weird, because then you have to pull up, dump your black, 
turn around and dump your gray. And for some reason, the dump station of the campground is one of the most stressful places on planet Earth. That and trying to launch a boat. Oh, parking your camper. Maybe I have a stress problem. <laughs> All those things. Somehow are, it affects me. I don't know. Why. It's, uh, those things are terrible. <laughs> Is it going? Parking the camper. It's going somewhere. Parking the camper is the worst. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. I'm the one like this, like, back her up. Come on, looking good. And then he's yelling out the window, I can't see you. And it's like, well, you could a minute ago. You turned. It's not my fault. <laughs> I know we've all been in that situation where somebody says, if I can't see you in my mirror, then I can't see you. <laughs> Does that sound familiar? It sounds familiar to me. I should be right there, I think. Maybe. Where? At the end? Maybe. No way. Am I not? I'm not seeing it Dang. yet. But well, it's down there because I can see it from here. No way. Yeah, that's right. You mean this? This possibly could work. This is one inch inner diameter tubing. The outer diameter is one and a quarter. So in theory, we can take the one and a quarter inch grommet, add it to our black tank, run this in at the very top, as high as we can get on the black tank. Yeah. And have our gray drain to the black. Oh, dope. <laughs> Which is nice. I mean, okay, so just some background. The old kitchen in this camper also used to drain to the black tank. There was never a gray tank. Mm. So everything drained to the black, and that's what we're hoping to do, too. Right. Right. No way okay. is this working. <sighs> this is too good to be true. <laughs> my sentiments exactly <laughs> well we, and we're just going to leave this coiled now we're not going to do all the plumbing today um we're really trying to get it back on the road plumbing or not and so mm -hmm. um we've still got work obviously but this is a big deal yeah all right so wait let me just orient everyone okay i'm laying on my back black tank all foamed so Tyler said it might be just built of foam. This just came out. So this wall is, in fact, built of foam. And we have the tube coming. Should I pull it or you want to push? Um, I mean, you can pull a little bit. Sure. Uh, I don't know. I... Yeah, so right there. Okay. Yeah. Are we That's good? the length to reach, but we want it to actually be able to go in a little bit. So okay. we'll take it a couple more inches. Golly. Is that good? All right, yep. And we're just going to let it dangle here yep. for a little while. All right. Wow. Good. It'll really be one of those uh, mouse tubes or hamster tunnels. or something. Yeah, it will be a mouse tube. <laughs> oh, did my back get all dirty? Uh, it's my new shirt. Not too bad, right? You see my new shirt? We did the Parkinson's walk today. So yeah, nice. Gotta, yeah, support my uncle and all of you out there with Parkinson's. Definitely not an easy way to live. Oh, boy. These are brown. Okay, I mean, we ordered tan. Um, they, they hold them up toward, well, I mean, we've got wood grain on the doors. We've got yeah. brown on the dash. They did look more tan, like cream color in the picture. They had brown ones. Mm -hmm. And we were like, we don't want the brown ones. We want the tan, the cream ones. So, um, yeah. But anyway, check out that. Hey, How retro is that? That is super retro. So these are 75 inches long. Okay. Tan, 75. Yeah. And uh, should just bolt down and we're going to be the safest rv on the market so we've got six. <laughs> oh, that is a bold statement well we I just don't know. said all of our walls are made of foam <laughs> true um, but we bought six so we're going to put two under each couch one for each the driver passenger that was a leaf and uh we'll be good we'll get rid of these oldies your tool that i bought you are you? Yes. The alloy man. <laughs> alloy man. Okay, so for Christmas, Tyler wanted like a half inch impact fancy 
thing. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I got you. And I totally didn't understand the assignment and got like, a, what is it? Five eight, three eight, something. It's three eight. A little five. like power ratchet alloy man brand. <laughs> so anyway, any uh, tool companies that have an awesome half inch impact want to throw a sponsorship our way, <laughs> we could use that and get me out of the doghouse. But. <laughs> so when you alloy man those bolts out of there, yeah. does the the hardware underneath just fall to the ground, or is it in foam or something? Uh, no, it's a captured nut. So. <laughs> You're a captured nut. <laughs> I don't want it. Say what you will about alloy, man, but. He makes a mean tool. Yeah. Give it a little huh? click. Yep, perfect. Nice. This one, the bolts aren't wanting to come out so easy, so we're going to give it a little time with the PB blaster. Can't exactly hit it with a torch, which has been our go-to bolt loosening method. So we'll come back and try this one again in a bit. So we are going to finally get to the floor. And believe it or not, this is clean. It is. We swept it, <laughs> vacuumed it. It's all clean. Um, this flooring is luxury vinyl plank, and so it's got the backer already on it, so we don't need an underlayment. Um, we'll try to show you a couple tips as we go along. Um, we've done a few of these kind of floors before, so hopefully we don't have too many issues, and I might have just jinxed us, but um, yeah, I mean, the main thing, first thing I wanted to do was just kind of lay them out and make sure we're not going to have like one inch weird little piece over there over here. But I think we can kind of go off this wheel well as our as our line. Um, we'll end up starting on this wall and just working our way forward. So hopefully it all just goes so quickly. Right. Let's bust it out. Let's do Daylight's it. Daylight's a-wasting. It is. Just took a little dinner break. Here's the status right now. Uh, a couple things we'll point out is if you buy the cheapest kind they have, it might give you a little bit of trouble putting it together and that's what we are having, but it's going together. So um, we had a little low spot in the floor here and we actually just put a sample piece of vinyl flooring under there, the sheet vinyl. So. You know we'll see but um anyway some things to keep in mind when you're doing this is you don't want seams next to each other so if we have this seam here you don't want one here or really on the next board so the next board over you can come close but for strength and for overall looks you don't want to have your seams lining up um, you also don't want to do a stair step we started to have a little one kind of forming here like boom 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 so we are careful on the next one not to have our board end here and have it look like a crazy stair step situation. And all of this is going to be underneath the couch, so not a big deal. But, um, but yeah, I mean, here we go. All right, we're back out here today. We haven't even looked inside to see what it looks like in the daylight. We were up late doing the floors last night, so we'll give you a peek in there. And then we're gonna finish up some trim. We just stopped at the store and bought some more. Gotta do a little cleanup and we'll head in. It's always nerve wracking to see something after you've been working on it in the dark. Let's see what it looks like in the daylight. Ooh, it looks good. I mean, obviously we need trim, but wow, the colors really go well. It does look nice. Sweet. We've got an all hands on deck situation here. We're trying to get this back on the road. 
Ella's got a new technique for filling the bread holes. Little caulk action. We still have a lot more trim to go. Tyler's working on cutting the metal here for around the stairs. And we'll wind up putting a rubber mat down there instead of wood right here in the main entry. So uh, stay tuned for that and then probably in a later video. But we're about to get to something cool that we haven't shown you. So we wanted to give you a sneak peek and then we'll take you inside and hopefully it goes smoothly. <laughs> so this is a fake tin roof type of deal and we want to do this in our kitchen. <laughs> People still do that? No, people don't do that. Come on in. So this is where that's going to go. We've got a light fixture to go in there, but we're hoping we can just liquid nails this up, pop the light in, and then we'll do a little cleanup and show you the progress with the trim and the floor. It's really coming along. Tyler is actually sick. Is it allergies? It's He's uh, pushing through whatever it is. I believe it's allergies. Allergies. But it's still sick. So hopefully he doesn't drop boogies all over this. Um, <laughs> we're going to try to just score it and maybe cut through it. Maybe Am I trying it? to push through it? You're trying to get as deep as you can, I guess, without going wild. Good? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So Tyler went to get our light. I want to show you guys the little project I worked on earlier. So this is where the um, furnace used to be. And obviously, if you've seen our other videos, we took the furnace out and are going with just the heat from our AC and heat pump here, which left us with some storage here. Um, we're most likely going to use it from the outside, but we wanted to still be able to access from the inside. We haven't fully solved that yet. So I built this little cover that's on there with magnets and I still need to paint it and get it cleaned up but you can see there's magnet around the edge it doesn't seem like the strongest magnet so we'll see when we're bouncing down the road if that stays put but um for now we got a cute little cover and we can still get in there if we need to You know what I need is a battery operated. That would be the bee's knees. What do you say? You know what I say. Uh, no, Where's I don't. the roof? <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. I, I actually eat. don't say that. I <laughs> raise the roof. You say raise the roof for everything. Oh yeah. Oh, come on. Hey, look at that one. Oh, that's a goodie. See? Look at me. Okay, so this is the light fixture. Um, in the previous video, I added this switch to it. And we should be able to click it on and off from right above the kitchen sink right here. Oh, man. This is going to look sweet. To be determined if we'll like those amber bulbs. But dang. Let me take a step back. Awesome. So we'll be back out tomorrow to show you the before and after of all the work we've done this week. Thanks everybody for watching. We've done a lot of hard stuff in this video. We've got a lot of projects ahead. We're going to try to get the couches that weren't even designed for this RV in here and see if we can make that work. Uh, we want to get this thing back on the road just as soon as we can. So if you like what you've seen, feel free to go back and watch our other videos and uh, don't forget to subscribe. We really appreciate all the support you guys have given us. Don't forget to give us a like and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye.